I wanted to ask you this, Grums. How do you feel like the expense for video games nowadays? Like, look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, there's a there's a story going around that it's lagging behind remake, and that game's pretty well received across the board from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. I've played a little bit of it. Um, I know Lofty's played a lot of it. I've yeah. I've liked what I've played so far, but that game might not even break. It might break even, maybe. I don't know if it's going to make much of a profit. Like It seems like gaming expenses, like their expenses for these games now are going through the roof. Like Where do you see yeah. AAA going? Like what do you where do you see this what's what's going to happen here cuz it feels like you've got Sony laying people off they laid off like 900 people mm-hmm. EA's laying people off like everybody's laying off mm-hmm. successful studios Insomniac is getting laid off uh Naughty Dog like where do you see gaming going Well I, I talked about this I I've given talks at GDC about the unsustainability of AAA gaming and um you know, where's the money going to come from? And unfortunately, the the way that game companies figured out where the money is going to come from for these excessive graphics and focus on uh, established IPs, sometimes licensed IPs that cost a lot of money, is this going to come from the gamers' pockets? They're going to be micro micro uh, uh, micro monetized, right? They're going to be buying you know battle passes and like live service and live service games, and um, and it's. It, especially since there's this big push towards uh, you know subscription stuff like Xbox Game Pass, right? Um, that's not only a few games make the money off of something like Genshin Game Impact. Pass. I think it, it hurts. It hurt. Yeah, it hurts the vast majority of I think smaller uh, titles. And yeah. um, the the only way that you make the money back is you turn your games into gambling simulators. And and since you can't do gotcha anymore, they're going to find other ways to do it, right? Well, and it, it, yeah. it's so saddening to me that there was a master class from a Blizzard designer who was who came into Blizzard after me. I don't know this guy, but I saw that it was a you know these these master classes online that you can pay hundreds of dollars for yeah. to, to listen to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I looked at the syllabus for that thing, and it was on their first advertising slide. The very first topic for excellence in making a Blizzard-like game was monetization i shit you not and that was the entire first week or first you know week worth of videos (laughs) and i was like this is bullshit yeah (laughs) we never thought that way at blizzard here's what we thought it's like and and we used to laugh because look these execs these 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 game companies have been around they were thinking this back then too oh if only i had the right business model my game would be a success if only my graphics were better, my game would be a success. Mm-hmm. If only I was tied into the current thing, then my game would be a success. And at Blizzard, we would go, that, let's make a good game, and then we'll figure out the monetary model for it later. And that yeah. worked great for us. And it built a, a brand that at the time, and it's tarnished now, like we could do no wrong, right? It's just well, like, it was a Blizzard game. Yeah. You knew it was good. You bought it. Yeah, yeah. I remember those days. I remember those days. Well, yeah. with- with Pal World, for example, they did the opposite. They the creator came out and said that he wanted to hop on all of the trending, all of the trending things, which he combined into one game, basically. Um, and that was very successful. I don't know. I, I, are you saying that like now Pal World doesn't do gambling, but they are very trendy? I don't know if now nobody, not you everybody can, you know, can the, be trendy. You can you yeah. can be trendy, right? I mean, I, yeah. Uh, it's it's more of the. I would say it's the business model thing. Oh, live service yeah. games are hot. Let's do that. Fuck single Battle player, Royale, right? Or something. Yeah. But and and I'll yeah. tell you another Blizzard secret. It's like we didn't come up with anything <laughs> truly original. We took things that had a lot of potential that were great gameplay. Yeah. And then we would polish that, and we would take all the rough edges out, and we would remove all the what we call uh, rage quit moments from the game. And we would just take the essence of it and distill it. And we were really good at doing that. So it's not like we were innovative. We, you know, and yeah, but we were good at spotting maybe the next current thing. What had potential to be the next current thing and then hopping on that. Well, I think Elden Ring is a great example of that. Uh, I mean, El- 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 Elden Ring, well, Breath of the Wild actually is probably a better example of that. But um, I actually have a question about Rebirth specifically, if you have uh, any insight about development uh, exclusive titles so it they That's a good question ex- it exclusively ps5 um versus you know versus multi-platform and they, they came out kitase came out and said that 
it was because it was because they needed to make the game uh, excel in in the open world environment and all the different systems, and it was just too much to focus on multi-platform. So they went went exclusive so they could polish the game on one platform. Do you have any? Do you have any? Like, is there anything more to that story, or is there a reason? Is there a, a financial reason why why they were working with Sony as opposed to? Uh, PC and Sony. At the same it will time. come to that game's yeah. going to come to PC. Uh, yeah, but, but it's losing money. Like any... Flash said, it's losing a lot of money. But yeah. yeah, I don't have any. I can't comment on the specifics of their deal, right? Yeah, but because I'm I'm not I'm not in on that deal, right? Uh, but I can tell you that exclusives always involve a very large lump sum from the console manufacturer plus enhanced royalties because you have to pay to be yep. on PlayStation. You have to pay. To be on xbox they get a cut of everything right that's the whole business model sell the hardware cheap make your money on the software but console manufacturers who have an exclusive strategy and they've been fighting with exclusives for a long time offer you a huge amount of money to be exclusive because they know you're gonna you're gonna right. be like otherwise screw that because i'll make more money if i'm multi-platform and right. that will come from a upfront payment a very large upfront payment uh or maybe part of the development costs and it'll also come in on the royalty rate that you have to pay. You'll get a discount on that. 